Hello and welcome back to Crucial Tech. I'm your host CJ and today I'll be reviewing another Android ROM. This time around we'll be reviewing the dot OS on the Xiaomi Mi A2. The installation process is uh, much more the same like any other. Just make sure you're on the latest firmware. Install the latest firmware, then flash the ROM. There is the option to install the vanilla ROM, which comes with no Google Apps, or the option that comes with the Google Apps. Let's check out the boot animation. So this is the .OS boot animation. One thing I love about the boot animation is that it has a black background. So I don't know why I have issues with white backgrounds, but I love it when the boot animation has a black background. So first thing after booting into the device, let's go into the about phone and check a bit of details about this ROM. So it is the .OS 5.1.2 GAPS version as you can see the rom is based on android 11 it's running the july 5th security patch july 5th 2021 security patch and the the kernel is the west coast super fast kernel So some of the good stuff about this ROM, one is that is it is highly inspired by Android 12. It's an Android 11 ROM, but it is highly inspired by Android 12. The device comes non-rooted, so this device passes safety net. So banking apps and other secure apps will work just fine. Another thing is that the device offers over the air updates. So you do not have to always keep on rebooting into TWRP downloading a ROM update and flashing. The ROM can update over the air. So as you can see, right now we have the August update and I've not yet updated. I was trying to use the July version for a period of time so that I can be able to review and get to know what it offers. Another thing that I can say good about the ROM, this is a 2018 device and it's working well on a 2018 device. So a 2018 device having Android 11, with Android 12 feel. So about the bugs that comes with this ROM, one is that the battery life was not as good as on the stock ROM. I don't know if it is the July update or something different or it's my device, but I did not get the best battery life with this ROM. Another thing, another bug that I've faced is sometime when you're using the device, you might, you might have some screen freeze. Once in a while, the device the screen freezes and the touch fails to respond so you have to reboot another bug that i faced on the device the phone comes unencrypted so if you're going to use this rom just 
know that it is unencrypted and you cannot encrypt the device at the moment. Not much of a deal breaker for me, but if it is for you, just know that you cannot encrypt this ROM at the moment. So for now, you just have to use it unencrypted. Basically, that's the review of this Android ROM. It's a ROM I can suggest to anyone who wants the stock Android feel on the device, the Pixel experience with a touch of Android 12. So it's quite a stable ROM. I've used it for quite some time. I have not had any major issues other than the bugs I mentioned earlier. But other than those, it has been very stable and I've been using it as my daily driver for the past all, for almost two weeks. So if you're using this ROM or if you want to try this ROM, comment down below. Let me know who are the fans of this ROM. If you're not this, using this ROM, let me know which one you're using. So basically, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.